the Scratch is a great way for kids to learn how to write programs graphically. In Scratch, you can drag and drop graphical components or to create animations and games. So let's start. This is what Scratch looks like. This cat is in a stage, and you can can call this cat a sprite. Sprite is just like a, a little robot. You can tell it what to do and you can change its looks. So I'll quickly show you how to make this cat move. And it, and to do that, let's, let's go over here to the left hand um, side. And you see there are a lot of um, these groups. There's motion, look, sound, pen, control, sensing, number, and variables. And these are you can consider them as a toolbox what that you can use to tell this cat what to do. Let's click control and in control let's drag out this when the green flag is clicked and I'll explain what, what it what it does and then drag out forever. Connect these two pieces together. What it's saying is that when the green flag is clicked you want it to do something forever but there's nothing in there yet so let's tell the cat to move. And to, to tell the cat to move, we go to motion and we drag out, say, move 10 steps. And you put it in here. When you drag it inside of this forever block, there will be a line, a white line showing. So that means that you can put it in now. So you dump it in and it will just stick like this automatically. And you can try to run your, your little program now. So click the green flag to test. So once you clean the green flag, the cat's moving really fast. And you might not want the cat to move so fast. Okay, and th the way to do that, okay, to stop it, by the way, is to click this stop sign. To tell the cat not to move so fast is you can, you can, what you can do is can, you can tell the cat to wait. So basically what it's saying is that when we can tell it to pause, actually, we can go to control and drag out this wait one second. So this is to tell the cat pause. So wait one second. And we, then we can test. Again, you wanted to make sure this is stick in here. The whole piece is stuck together. And then you click green flag to test. Now you see one, two. So the cat is moving really slowly, a lot slower because the cat Wait one second before it moves ten steps. This is this is the really gentle introduction of how do you control the sprite. Next, I want to show how to change or how your cat looks. So there's scripts, that's where we're at, and costumes and sound. So scripts control the cat's control its movement, control what it does. Costume control what it looks like. Sound control what it sounds like. So all these three panels control the cat. So let's uh, quickly do costumes. Currently there are two costumes. So these are here by default when you start this program. The, these will be here. I wanted to tell the cat to, to switch between these costumes so it looks like he, he's walking. And to do that, let's go back to our script. So here, instead of wait one second and move 10 steps, I wanted to not only move, have the cat move 10 steps, I also want to have the cat change his, change his look. So we go to looks the purple one drag out next costume so put it either before the move 10 steps or after 10 steps doesn't matter when you click the green flag forever this cat will wait one second then move 10 steps and change the next costumes because there are two costumes so it will keep going back and forth between these two costumes so that's we can test now so we click the green flags and you can see that the cat is changing costumes or, or changing the way it looks every one second. Again, move 10 steps and change costumes. Now we have done scripts, costumes, and that's do sound. With sound, you can either click record, click record, hello, and you know, and then I just click OK. Test it. Hello. You can pay, you can see that there's pop, mail, and recording. So there are a lot of pre-recorded sounds you can import. Scratcher has all these uh, already sounds in place. So you can say, uh, I want to say electronic. Do spiral. Okay, let's go back to scripts. So now we create the sound clips or we import this. We have imported the sound clips. So now this cat can use these sound clips. Our cat can use the sound clips. Go back to scripts. We want to tell the cat not only wait one second, move 10 steps and next change to next costume. But we also like to tell it say something, and right here we says we drag out.
play sound and put it. You can put it anywhere. We want the cat to say meow. So now you're ready to test. So you walk, walk, and you can change spirals. You can also play the one I just recorded. This concludes our gentle introductions of Scratch.